Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people uh, fact-checking, so I expect we'll have millions more fact-checking uh, because, you know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. Welcome back to America Talks Live, Hour 2, where the most important content for our program comes from you. Your calls, comments, and questions at 1-877-639-7629. That's 1-877-NEWSMAX. As you may have heard before, we're not the media, we're Newsmax TV. That means we often have a very different take on the top stories, especially those where the alphabet networks and their cable cousins mine the P's and Q's of political correctness. It's the day after debate number two between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. We just saw an exchange where Mr. Trump was most definitely non-PC but very effective. We'll talk about that a bit more, but first, this news update from Miranda Kahn. Miranda? Thanks, J.D. Two rounds down and one more to go. In the meantime, reaction continues following last night's second presidential debate. House Speaker Paul Ryan just spoke moments ago. He responded to calls for Trump to resign, saying that he will not pull his endorsement of Donald Trump, but that he will no longer campaign with him or defend his comments. All of this comes after several Republicans pulled their endorsements from Trump following that release of that 11-year-old leaked tape, but former House Speaker Newt Gingrich says they jumped the gun. Uh, they have a lot of egg on their face because uh, the guy who uh, came, showed up in the debate tonight clearly is the Republican nominee, uh, and he clearly has earned being the Republican nominee, and it's kind of crazy for somebody to suggest dumping him at this point. Former House Speaker also says Trump did a much better job in last night's debate. Media polls were released on who America thought won the debate. CNN and YouGov polls have Clinton winning the second debate. Newsmax viewers, however, disagreed. They believe Trump came out on top. For much more on these stories, please stay tuned to Newsmax TV and head on over to Newsmax.com. Back to you. Thanks very much, Miranda. For more on all of this, we are pleased to be joined now by the co-founder and editor-in-chief of Politistic.com, Jennifer Burke, via Skype from my old Arizona stomping grounds. Also joining us this afternoon from Newsmax, Washington, columnist for the Daily Beast, Barrett Holmes Pittner. Uh, to you both, there is some news out of Germany today. Police there have detained a 22-year-old Syrian man, someone who arrived in that nation as a refugee, Jabar al-Bakar, age 22, the subject of a nationwide manhunt. The German cops found explosives in a raid of his apartment. He apparently was in contact with ISIS and was believed to have been preparing a bomb attack, much like those we saw in Brussels and Paris. So again, it appears that Mr. Trump's point of view is vindicated by events. Here is what Mr. Trump said last night about refugees, the Muslim community, and the specter of terror in this country. And we have to be sure that Muslims come in and report when they see something going on. When they see hatred going on, they have to report it. As an example, in San Bernardino, Many people saw the bombs all over the apartment of the two people that killed 14 and wounded many, many people. Horribly wounded. They'll never be the same. Muslims have to report the problems when they see them. Well, does this validate Mr. Trump's call for heightened vetting, especially the news coming out of Germany today? Barrett Holmes Pittner, what say you? No, I, I definitely don't think it does. You know, the, we vet people but when they come into the country, no matter what. Having some sort of vetting along their religious affiliation is just outrageous. And a lot of the issues that are happening in Germany are due to the, to the large number of immigrants that Germany is having to take on due to other European countries not assisting them and accommodating a lot of these Syrian refugees who are, le who are fleeing a, a terror zone. They're looking for refuge. And if you have people in your country and they have no opportunities, there's the, you're not getting coordination with other places to provide them with jobs and housing and opportunities to like succeed in their life, you know, people will eventually naturally become radicalized. The United States would oh, not oh, have that oh, so, so, to the so it's that Germany This has. is fascinating, Barrett. And Jennifer, I wonder if you share this worldview that somehow trying to properly screen those who come to a country who might be security threats somehow prompts them to, to turn to terrorism. Talk about an alternate universe, but you're certainly entitled to your view, uh, Barrett. Let's hear what Jennifer has to say. 
yeah, you know, I, I don't think that vetting is a bad thing. I mean, at all. You, you can look at what's going on in, in Europe. I mean, women can't even walk on the streets of Germany without um, fearing a sexual assault. I mean, it's, it's really quite scary. I'm, I've never been to Europe. I'll never go. I was telling my husband that just the other day. I will never go at this point because I just don't think it's safe. I have a friend whose daughter was in Europe, uh, had many close calls, uh, she, you know, tall, blonde girl. Um, she was quite afraid, and she said she'll, she's glad she went but she'll never go back. I don't think vetting is, is bad. Um, if, uh, and, and I don't buy the, well, if they don't have opportunities, they'll turn to terrorism. Uh, the San Bernardino terrorists had opportunities. The man had a great job with a government agency. Uh, his wife came in on a fiance visa that was exploited uh, because she was not fully vetted. Uh, and, and I don't understand the arguments that, um, uh, you know, we do full vetting. The FBI has said it's, it's nearly impossible to do accurate and complete vetting because there's no information, no information there. And so based I, on I, the I most don't... recent account I've read, uh, that at some of these airport gates, you have a piece of paper with the refugee's name and little else. So much for extreme vetting. Listen, let's let's hear what uh, America is saying at one eight seven seven Newsmax one eight seven seven six three nine seven six two nine to Johnstown, Pennsylvania, for Joseph. Hi, Joseph. Hi. How you doing? Fine, sir. What's on your mind today? Well, I'm just wondering why everybody keeps... At one time, I thought about voting for Donald. Well, he's done taking that thought completely out of my mind, because this is a man that has praised dictators. I mean, to the point that he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Well, let, let's, let's pin that down a little more specifically, Joseph. Uh, who did he praise and in what fashion? Uh, what, what dictator uh, are you referring to? Well, let's go with Putin. Let's go with the leader of North Korea. Let's go with Saddam Hussein that he said was a fantastic uh, person that uh, this man was killing people because he was doing genital to them. He was just eliminating them because of their religious beliefs and that they didn't believe in him. And so uh, with your vote and your, you have a right to a secret ballot, you don't have to answer this, uh, you go in with Hillary, it sounds like. Yes, I am now. For a okay. Fact. And so this, this came in recent days or based on you've gone back through a litany of... Uh, of uh, oh, this has come within the last couple of weeks. Basically. I see. Well, very okay. good, Joseph. We appreciate your perspective to Jennifer Burke, uh, because uh, Joseph uh, offers his opinion from Johnstown. Uh, there's been much more concern about where women stand uh, in the wake of the 11-year-old uh, supposedly off-the-record uh, tape that's kind of interesting. It was still laying around after 11 years. But uh, you heard Joseph, and we certainly appreciate his point of view. Uh, how do you, what are you hearing from, uh, from women? Uh, is there a mass revulsion now of Trump, or in the wake of the debate, did he uh, staunch the bleeding, as it were? Well, I, you know me, uh, J.D., I, I'm, I'm not, I've not, never have been a, a Trump supporter. I, I'm a supporter of, I, I look at both candidates, I look at all candidates, I came up within the Tea Party. I believe in the Constitution. So I'm not, you know, I don't buy this binary choice, Trump or Hillary. But I can tell you this. I, I thought he did a good job last night. And as far as 11-year-old tapes, I have a, a good friend from high school. She's not very political at all. Very rarely says anything political. And after the emergence of the Trump tapes, she took to Facebook and said a political statement, which she rarely does, and said, if you are upset and angry and calling Trump out over those tapes, Yet you support Hillary Clinton, who not only it's not the actions of her husband, that's the problem. It's what she did and the cover up of, of it all. You know, she believes that a woman has a right to be believed uh, and, and if they're sexually assaulted, unless it's a victim of her husband, then they have a right to be destroyed. And I, I think that's very telling. She's not a political person, but she is not a supporter of either one. But she called out the hypocrisy of those who are, are railing against Trump when they put Bill Clinton on a pedestal. Uh, Barrett, your take. I would imagine the call from Joseph in Pennsylvania, a critical state, was veritable music to your ears. Yeah, it was a very encouraging phone call. I think Joseph's, you know, he's, there's a lot of information that if you take 
the, like the statements that Trump says as isolated incidents. But if you connect them all together, and like Joseph was easily, he could easily ra like uh, state state um, dictators that Trump had uh, encouraged or, or said were good people, and all sorts of incidents. So yeah, it was it was quite encouraging. It's it's good that you know many Americans are coming around to how bad Trump's judgment are and how. Uh, his statements just don't have a place in our uh, democratic society, and he'd be a horrible head of state. It's 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 quite good, yeah. And uh, we 100%. very much appreciate, and, and this is very good because it's always good to get the collective mindset of the dominant media culture. And indeed, we saw that last night post debate. The CNN ORC poll take, taken after that, that debate uh, said that Mr. Trump improved his performance, but overall. In that snap polling, it was Hillary Clinton who came out in top, on top. But of course, CNN, very curious, the way their focus group seemed to be managed. Take a look at this videotape, and if time permits, Jennifer, we'll get your comments on it. America already is great, but we are great because we are good. America's great. All right, so I want to ask you, what was it about Hillary Clinton's argument that resonated with you following Donald Trump's defense of the video? She stated that America is already great, um, and I tend to agree with that, that we are slow in progressing in a number of areas. We are progressing, and we need to continue the momentum. So the focus group, where the moderator feeds the line that Hillary offers, and the uh, focus groupee repeats it verbatim. Uh, Jennifer, coaching? there? Oh, definitely. And it, it, this isn't the first time CNN has been caught red-handed with some uh, nefarious, doing something nefarious with a, with, a, with a video. They've doctored videos to give the message that they wanted to give. Uh, they've been, they were accused by a police organization of doctoring a video uh, just recently. It's, it's not anything new, and it, it pushes the narrative. This is why so many people call them the Clinton News Network. It just, it's really disturbing how frequently they have doctored videos in order to fit Hillary Clinton's agenda, truthfully. Uh, let us uh, remind you that there is a poll that we have now at NewsmaxPolls.com. Uh, after the revelations of Mr. Trump's comments, we're asking you out there, uh, do you still support Donald Trump? A lot of Republicans headed for the hills despite his performance last night. Let us know, let us know at NewsmaxPolls.com. Back with more of your phone calls and our guests here on America Talks Live.